Hello everyone, Jay Whitner here with Space Headlines. We do a quick recap each week of what's going on in space. And today we're gonna to be talking about the third week of July, 2018. Our first item is SpaceX. What you see here in this picture is their recovery ship called Mr. Steven. And the news item is, is they've taken off the old arms and put on new, bigger, longer arms that effectively spread out this huge net to catch the nose cones, the, the fairings from the Falcon 9 rockets. The cost, uh, I think it was about six million bucks, the fairing cost. So they want to catch them in midair so they don't get salt water all over them. The new net is going to be about four times bigger than the old net. And they've not yet announced when the, the first use will be of this, uh, this new capture uh, technology. Another ship, the Viking Orion. You might have heard of them, the Viking River Cruises that are advertised. They also have a line of ships. And one of their ships, the Viking Orion, has the highest definition 7K planetarium that anybody has, land or sea. Apparently it's a, a really cool installation. And in addition to the Explorer's Dome, which is what they call this thing, they're going to have a resident astronomer on board the ship to explain astronomy and they're gonna be playing space themed movies uh, here in this dome. So uh, uh, an exciting new development. There's only two uh, planetariums at sea and I think the, the other one is uh, on one of the Cunard ships. We had some news about Jupiter. Jupiter has 12 additional moons, more than we thought before. I think the count is now up to like 80 moons or something. The new ones that were found are all small moons. They're under two miles in diameter. And the lead person on this was Scott Shepard. And the findings were generated by a four meter telescope that was in Chile. And one of the interesting parts is there's one uh, orbital altitude where they have uh, prograde motion, which is matching the motion of the planets uh, spinning and retrograde uh, motion uh, in the same altitude. So collisions could happen amongst these moons. Jeff Bezos and Blue Origin made some new records. Their new Shepard rocket uh, reached a higher altitude than ever before. They got their capsule 74 miles up in the air. This was the ninth flight of the new Shepard, but they have yet to announce what the timing might be for tourist flights and what the prices are going to be. So that's uh, upcoming interesting uh, facts that we'll be looking for. At this time of year, if you're into space, it's hard to not think about our first visit to the moon in 1969 uh, on July 20th. 12 people went to the moon and walked on the moon. And uh, there was another half dozen people that like, looked out the window uh, and orbited the moon and wished they were walking on it too. But there was this article, it was about what people did after they got back from the moon. And you can uh, Google this idea and find out more information, but there's space advocacy they did, artists, they served on nonprofit boards, they flew space shuttles, uh, there's some authoring going on, there were some books, and really a very accomplished group of men that, uh, that did this great heroic feat in 1969, and four of them are still on. SpaceX is really gearing up to, to really get going with the Block 5 version of the Falcon 9. This is the, the final most advanced version of the Falcon 9 that's intended to be used many, many times. So they're getting ready for the second flight of the Falcon 9, that was this particular story. And they're only gonna be flying this Block 5 version now, which has higher thrust, more reusability, and a whole bunch of other uh, advantages to it. And hopefully everything will go well. And speaking of that, the next headline was the actual launch. So the Falcon 9, the, this is the Block 5, launched the biggest communications satellite ever. 15,600 pounds, Telstar 18 Vantage. So the launch seemed to go fine. The first stage landed on the drone ship well. And according to the schedule, 
the next flight of a block five is only going to be three days from the flight of this one. So the cadence for launches is really picking up on the Falcon 9. And hopefully we'll continue to see uh, nice smooth launches out of the Block 5 version of the rocket. That's it for Space News, covering the third week of July 2018. Check back with us in, in a week or so for the next edition of Space Headlines that will cover a week four of July. And we'll see you then.